Justin W. is in my technical analysis course. It's a 12 and a half hour course. And he asked, uh, so he said, there's a great course so far, so that's good. And do you have any tools you recommend for a newbie? I know there are a lot of scanners and other tools. If you were just starting, what tools do you recommend? And really looking at it from that charting technical analysis standpoint, looking at some uh, tools that can help that way. And I've got three tools that'll help with scanning or screening stocks uh, to help find something that might be uh, very good that you can narrow your search down using technical analysis and charting tools, which is different than things like ratios and stuff like that. So that's what this um, video is all about. And we're gonna get into that coming up. Welcome to the channel and in the description below I've got links to free courses and other courses in case you're interested in taking a course all of that's below So do check that out. All right, so let's look at three scanners or I like to call them more screeners for stocks But really focused on this a little bit more deeper more intermediate to advanced topic of uh, using technical analysis or charting tools So I'm gonna approach it that way and let's take a look at three good ones And at the end I'm gonna give you three big tips too that'll help you enhance that even more So do stick around to the end Okay, the first one we're going to look at, I think it's a pretty good one, is stockmonitor.com. I'll have all the links in the description below too. So stockmonitor.com, and they have a technical analysis stock screener that I think is pretty good. Uh, you get almost everything here for free, by the way. Uh, they do uh, end of day data, you know, for best for stocks based on end of day data that's free. But if you uh, sign up on their site, you can get an intraday uh, types of numbers and stuff too. So that's good for uh, day traders and all that. So it's free registration. Otherwise, you know, pricing wise, they've got 14 day trial for free or full membership uh, on a monthly basis might vary based on where you live. But you don't have to do any of that. You can just use some of the stuff that you've got for free right here without even signing up, it looks like. So what they do is this is again well with technical analysis. So you're gonna see things like you know gold popular ones like golden crosses, overbought, oversold situation, using things like the relative strength indicator or the MACD and you know different types of chart patterns like hammers or shooting stars. So if all this is not making any sense to you, that's okay. You'd want to look invest in like a technical analysis course order. So things like ratios, like price to earnings ratio, peg ratio, dividends, all that stuff, that's a different type of topic than technical analysis. I have courses on that. But basically they've got popular ones. You've got moving averages for different days or time frames, 7, 13, 26, you know, price moving above, below. And it's just you really just click on these things. You've got gaps, different things with prices, oscillators. This is that relative strength index. Good way to see if it's uh, you know something is being overbought or oversold, as well as trend indicators, MACD, Bollinger Bands, a lot of different stuff. Chart patterns, as we mentioned, like dojis, doji stars, dragonfly, evening, doji, gravestone doji, hanging man, all sorts of stuff. So you just basically click on something and it'll give you that information as far as a list. So let's say we're looking at golden crosses, you know, where the 50 day moving average is crossing above the 200 day moving average. So that is a bullish or a buy type single signal. Things are improving, you know, things are go going well over a longer period of time. So that is the idea over 50, usually days, but it could be 50 periods. So if I go click on golden cross, you'll quickly just bring up, you know, the results here and then you can see We've got all these stocks here, not many actually, that because it's such a unique, you know, more specific thing, 50 day and 200 days, you know, you can see different stocks that are listed here. And then that is your screen, that, just that fast. Now, if we want to look, say, look closer at one, and I would say with any of these, you'd want to verify for yourself. Let's just choose the first one on the list here. I'm not even sure who it is. Yamana Gold, okay. Um, and so you'll see their chart here. And we're going to put an indicator. You could use like TradingView or other things too. They have some basic ones here, uh, but that'll work for our, our purposes here. So I'm going to put on two moving averages. And the first one, and it says defaults to 30. I'm going to change that to check it here real quick. Hang in with me there a little bit. And this was the 50 day crossing above the 200 day, right? So we're going to say the $50 or 50 day, we're going to leave that as blue, all right? So we're going to leave that as blue. And then the 200 day, we're going to change that to 200 change our parameters from 30 periods or 30 days in this case to 200. And we're gonna change the color on that. When we were at blue, let's say this is uh, more of a reddish type color, right? Or yeah, let's do a reddish color. All right, just so they stand out differently. And you can see over here to the far right, you see how this long, more flatter line is a 200 day and then this is the 50 day moving average. And it shows, yes, we recently are crossed above that 
thing. So that's a way you can just verify or double check with it, right, is the idea. But the nice thing with them, and none of these are, by the way, sponsored. You know, this is all just tools I'm sharing for free. Nobody's paying me anything to share these. You know, it's nice because you can just click on something and just get right at it. So again, if you're in a course of mine where you learn about technological analysis, this is a nice tool to help narrow down your choices. Uh, two other ones, another good one you know, that we use a lot is TradingView. Now, you're, if you go to TradingView.com, this home screen might look different to you. Uh, I'm already, I belong to TradingView, uh, so they might be trying to sell you something, but they do have a free version with ads, so you can do all this for free too. Look for something that has three little menu, you know, little slash horizontal lines, that'll be where your menu is, and you want to go to screeners, click on screeners, and the nice thing with TradingView, you can do stocks, Forex, crypto, all sorts of stuff. Let's keep it at stocks. And we're going to look at a stock screener focused on technical analysis again. Though with TradingView, you can also get into other types of things other than technical analysis. But TradingView is really designed for active traders for technical analysis. So here we've got a list of stocks here. And you can see this is the overview, but I can you know, click these here and change it from performances to valuation metrics. So I was telling you they had things like price to earnings or earnings per share, some of those traditional fundamental matri mat metrics. We'll leave it at overview. But then what you can do is go into filters and then you can start applying stuff. Now I happen to apply a relative strength index, uh, which is looking at overbought and oversold situations. So I'm gonna choose, if I want to look at something that was overbought, um, let's say, and it's maybe ripe to come down to price, I'd want it to be above maybe like a number like 70. Some people, you could say 30, or excuse me, 80, you know, higher, 70 and above, the higher the number, the more likely it is overbought, ready to come down. But let's say I want to look at something that's oversold that might be more of a, a buying opportunity. I can just go here and I want to choose um, uh, below. Uh, where is my below? Um, well, well, oh, here it is, below. And I want to be below, let's say, 30, right? So this is where I can just go into filters there and change my parameters. Again, you can set things like fundamental analysis, debt to equity, price to sales, price to earnings, all these kind of fundamental stuff. But since this is we're looking at from a technical analysis standpoint, I'm clicking here under technical. You can see I'd already chosen the relative strength index. And then if I wanted to choose something different, uh, maybe I'm looking just at price changes over one month, or excuse me, over uh, one minute, and this would be one minute, five minutes, 15 minutes for intraday day traders um, versus hours, weeks, days, all that kind of stuff, right? And price changes, weekly performance, year-to-date performance. Maybe I'm looking for an under over uh, sold stock, then the year-to-date performance is under below 10%, right? And I can put in that value and I'd be really looking for maybe some underperformers. So that's trading view. And that'll give you a list based on how you sort out for these fil filters. And then I'll start reducing that list there. And the last one to look at, which is similar to that stock, uh, that previous one, the stock monitor, is stockscreener.org. Uh, it has a free sign up type thing. And then you can basically build, it's more oriented for swing trading, you know, not like day trading, but more longer, little longer periods. And then you can basically just choose the different indicators and you can choose what you want to be. So it's a nice little setup. So if I'm looking at the simple moving average and I can change, you know, some default days, um, maybe I'm looking at that 50 day, or let's say I'm looking at a 15 day moving average. Um, and I can see if it's crossing over, you know, the 50 day moving average. And that would be a, a data point I could put in there. So the same idea where you have all these different types of things that you can choose and these different types of things, very similar to that first one that we looked at. So to review again, stockmonitor.com, uh, trading view, uh, trading view, and then uh, take a look at stockscreener.org. And then as far as three bonus tips here at the end is to look at the time frame. You know, think of your time frame when you're doing a screen. You know, if you're looking at more of a day type thing, that's fine. But if you're more of an intraday trader, make sure you check that time frame that it matches up with what you're screening for. Um, also, uh, always a good idea to practice using paper trading. I'm a big believer in paper trading, especially if you're newer and you want to practice using screeners, practice using some of these concepts, especially if one of my courses you're losing, you can practice for free with paper trading. Uh, trading View has uh, the ability to do free paper trading. So just, you know, internet search paper trading, um, uh, trading view, and you'll find it and it's a free sign up. And then lastly, of course, I'm an educator, not giving like buy specific stock advice, I'm just educating. And so as an educator, I would certainly encourage you to continue your education. And if you're interested in my courses, again, description below, check it out. 
Also, you can also check out, um, you know, click on the image and go look at my other videos I have on the home page and check out some other videos too. So take a look at that. And with that, I wish you all the best of luck. And Justin, thanks for submitting that question.